second left. Let's have a listen to Richard. Is no. What are you going to say to your counterparts in Europe? Well, the Irish people have yet to make a decision. And no, I'm just not, assume. I'm, you have to have a plan B. If your plan A of a yes vote doesn't work, you have to have a plan B. A plan what will you go back and tell the European Commission and all the other governments in the Eurozone? Well, I suppose we will have to say that we, need, we will need access to the, uh, this fund and I think Ireland will be looking to say, can we vote again? Because we will, we will need access to this fund. Sorry, are you suggesting that if there is a no vote that this government will look to rerun the election? No, I'm saying, I'm saying that we will have a That's crisis on our hands, but we, we will have a crisis on our hands and we will face oh, no, a really no, no, difficult no, no, uh, situation in, in funding ourselves. That's it, that is the reality. Isn't he telling the, the truth? Isn't that the truth? If there's a no vote, we'll go back to Europe and we'll say, any chance you could give us something to change the electorate's mind on this thing and give us a few sops and whatever, and we'll have another go. And are you going to play the next part of the interview when he came out and clarified what he meant? Clarified? You mean yeah, contradicted he said, what he said? He said very clear, as has been positioned throughout the entire campaign, that he re- okay, reiterated we'll, 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 we'll the same We'll play the other bit. He said okay, the there other will bit. not be a second vote. Play the, uh, the, play the no other bit. There is no question of a second vote on this. There will so be why are you clarifying because that now? It's what you said quite specifically I, I, earlier. I, yeah, and I... I, I, well, I, I, I'm, I'm retracting what I said. I mean, I mean I'm not. I, and there's, there's nothing wrong with being, being honest. You know, I mean, gov, government has made it clear that it will, will, there will be no second vote, and I just want to, to, to clarify that. Uh, I, you know, this is a, a debate. This is, uh, we all can all make mistakes. But I, 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 what I, I do believe really strongly, and I, I work every day seeking to get more employment into this country, and to, you know. Every, people who say we need to build employment as the solution to our debt problem as well as everything else are correct. He was retracting what he previously said. He wasn't withdrawing it. It, was re- it wasn't clarifying it. He was retracting yeah. it. Now, wasn't, but wasn't he telling the truth in the first instance? That if there is a no vote, we'll go, the truth is we'll go back to Europe and say, oh, God, these bloody people we have are very obdurate and thick-headed. And can, we, can you give us something that will entice them to vote again and we'll have another go at it and then we get access to the ESM? Isn't that what's going to happen? No. Because this, what, what entire, because this entire treaty will be enacted and come into force, yeah, yeah, regardless yeah. of what happens here yeah, in Ireland. Of course, we know that. And what Richard said earlier on is if we wake up the following day or find ourselves in a situation where it's not ratified, we could be facing a crisis. We could, yeah. Because there'll be the crucial question of how do we fund our public services. Right, Pascal. And Rich, Pascal. And in a, let me finish this point and thank you for playing the second half of the interview. Because in the second half of the interview, he said, in the heat of what was going on, as can happen to any of us, he wasn't clear and he retracted it and said what he's been saying for the entire campaign okay. and said tonight. Right, can I ask you, Pascal? What will the government do if there's a no vote? Please don't give a spiel about something else, just answer that question. I'm not even going to comment on the consequences well of an action that we're not well recommending. Done. Well done. We're campaigning Listen. for a yes vote because we believe the consequence of a no vote could be difficult for yeah. so difficult yeah. for our All country. Right. Yeah. But we believe there's very positive reasons for people voting yes. Well. There's and no that plan B. There's no, that you have no change. idea that, that we, you, you, according to you, there would be a crisis. The country would be in a crisis if we vote no. So you have no plan at all of how to deal with that crisis. Our plan is to win this campaign. I know, we know. To win it we know that, we know that. But it's up to the people to decide. We've seen a good response Wait, to that. After, after five years of our elites <laughs> having never a reserve contingency to compensate for any sorts of risks that might uh, ar- arise during their policy uh, implementation, why are you still expecting this government to produce a plan B? There is no plan B. If we vote no, they plan. will send us back to voting booths once again. And the reason why is because this government, like the previous government, have shown very consistently that they cannot by themselves, through their own policy, resist the tide of harmonization which is being pushed into Ireland and into other countries through the different mechanisms in Europe, which are mistaken mechanisms because they're not resolving any problems that Europe is facing. But that's entirely I know how that's to find economic out issue. What the plan B is. I, mean, I know how to find out. I've, I've got an idea. I don't know how to find out the plan B is. Next Monday or Tuesday, we'll have the American ambassador here and we'll ask the American ambassador. What are they telling you in private they'll do if there's an no vote? And you think well, of 